Sam here and welcome to your weekly dose of fun. For today's video, I have decided to do a highly requested video from you guys and so here it is, my summer morning routine. Woo! Yay! So for today's video, I'll be taking you guys along with me um, on my, well, my regular morning routine for the summer. So yeah, if you guys haven't so already, don't forget to like and subscribe down below and come join my crazy family. Okay, so I'm not going to waste my time here anymore, so let's get into the video! Okay guys, so this is where I usually start to wake up. I usually set an alarm for about 8.15 in the morning, but sometimes I will wake up 15 to 30 minutes earlier than my alarm. I don't know why, I've always been an early bird. So yeah, so I'll just usually start off by sitting up, I'll probably check my phone or something, but then I'll usually contemplate if I should be waking up right now and or if I should just go back to bed. So by the end, I'll decide to actually get out and actually start doing my morning routine, which is going off and heading over to the washroom. Okay guys, so you know my bathroom. You've seen it in my prom get ready with me video. So as I said before, I'll walk over to my bathroom and I will get myself um, all cleaned up. So I'll start off by doing my business, yada, 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 and then I will move on to my face routine. So before I can start with my face routine, I have to make sure to get my hair out of my face because, well, for one thing, I have bangs, and so I can't really do a face routine if, I, if half my face is covered with my own hair. So I just tie it back up and then use um, any, like, hair band just to push my bangs out of my face. So for my face routine in the morning, I usually use about three or four different products. I use a face wash, toner, ampule, and moisturizer. So to start off with the face wash, it says to wash, like get my face wet before I can use it. So what I use is I use Senka Perfect Whip. It is a Japanese brand face wash and I've been using it for a couple years now and it is amazing. Like I feel like it has done wonders for my face. It helps really get into like the pores and like the small cracks in your face or like kind of like brings out the impurities that you don't need. And it, it is the best. It also I think helps with less breakouts because when I use this, I feel like I get less breakouts. And so I use a little brush with it. I use like a dollar store brush, like a face brush. It, it works so well because it says to like make, like to froth up the face, the face product. For some odd reason, when I am using the face wash, whenever I wash it off, I always get extra bits left on like my forehead and stuff, and I always have to like clean it off again afterwards. So now with my toner, I use the Belief like, Eucalyptus Herbal Extract Toner. So this, um, toner is from the face shop and this one specifically is used for oily skin i actually have combination skin i feel like it works way better than the normal combination skin so now moving on to my next product i use the snail repair intensive ampule so this works really really well i got this one from yes style for a really great price i think maybe like 14 bucks for an ampule that's an amazing price and so this helps with, um, I think, aging, daily skincare, and um, breakouts. And finally, my moisturizer that I use is the Belief True Cream Aqua Balm. I've been using this for a couple years now and it is amazing. It has such a nice smooth consistency that just spreads across your face and just gives you a nice, cool, relaxing feeling that will not leave you with breakouts. It is one of the best moisturizers I've ever had. It is a little bit on the more expensive side, but it is so worth it. So 
So now I am brushing my teeth. I don't know about you guys, but I like to brush my teeth in the morning. I've always been doing that since I was like a child, like doing it before breakfast because like you grow, you grow like bacteria and like all that gunk in your mouth, like while like overnight. So now it is time for me to get dressed. Since today's gonna be a pretty lazy day, like a stay at home day, I'm not trying to dress up all fancy and stuff. So I'm just wearing a t-shirt and a pair of shorts, just something really comfy for me to lounge around in at the house. I am most likely gonna be editing some videos and stuff, so I don't need to get fancy for that. And now I'll just be brushing my hair. My hair is like a rat's nest after I wake up, so I do not wanna be lounging around with a rat's nest in my hair for the rest of the day. I don't need that. So I'll just be brushing it out, combing it out. I usually like to start from my ends and then slowly work my way up. So now it is time for some breakfast. So in the mornings, um, I'm not usually like super, super hungry. So I'll, but I do want to try getting something in anyway, so I don't like pass out halfway through the day. So I usually like to have something simple, like usually like eggs, toast, or some like fruit. So for today, I decided to make some eggs and have some peanut butter on toast. So I'll usually get out my eggs, my bread, and stuff like that. So when I make my scrambled eggs, I like to make them extra fluffy. And by doing this, I usually add a little bit of milk or water with the eggs. And it fluffs them up when you cook them for some odd reason. And it works really, really well. So if you guys like scrambled eggs, try adding a little bit of milk or water to your eggs. And it makes life so much better. So in my house, we have this cute little like small round pan that we use for eggs. I, I think it's specifically an egg pan, which I love so much. It's like this pan can be used for like to make any type of eggs. Well, except like anything boiled and stuff. But if you want to make like fried eggs or like sunny side up, scrambled, these are like the perfect pan sizes to make like those nice perfect round eggs for whenever you want to have breakfast or whenever you eat eggs. Okay guys, so now here is the finished product. And usually when I'm eating, I like to watch Netflix. So right now, well, for a while now, I've been really into anime. So I've been watching a whole bunch of animes on Netflix. Right now, I've been really into Soul Eater. If any of you guys have watched Soul Eater, comment down below who your favorite character is. Like, literally, I have been binge-watching Soul Eater for, like, hours and hours a day because it's so addicting. I think there are, like, four seasons to it, and it's so good. I actually recently just finished it, and I'm so upset. So, if I have some awesome anime fans out there, comment down below your favorite anime series because maybe we might have the same one. So, after breakfast, I'll probably watch some TV for, like, an hour or so, and then I'll decide to go back up to my room and actually make my bed and clean up a bit if I have to. So usually after I make my bed, I just start to start editing on some of my new videos I'm planning to upload soon for you guys. But before I got into that, 
Um, I grab my laptop and I check some of my emails to see which ones are important, not important, and stuff like that. So I realized that I've been do my editing. Once I start editing, I just keep going and going and going and I don't stop. I remember once I think I ed was editing for like three or four hours and I never even realized it. It just, it takes up so much time, but it was so fun. I never realized how long it would actually take me. Okay guys, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys had an awesome time watching and learning about what my morning routine usually looks like for the summer. Um, and so if you guys haven't so already, don't forget to hit that like button. Okay guys, until next time, bye!